Welcome to Sage 100 Training Tips and Tricks Series. My name is Andrew Crane, and today I will be showing you AP manual check entry and the use of a not on file vendor. As you all know, in accounts payable, we have the option of printing or recording a manual check. A manual check can be manually entered from a check that might have been handwritten, or if we wanted to use the next check number based on the bank code, we could select the pound sign and get the next check number. Those are two ways of entering manual check. Let's say that we have a manual check that we wrote to a vendor that is a one-time vendor that doesn't exist in our system. And let's assume that the check was number 14. For the check amount, we enter the amount of the check. But instead of doing a lookup to find a vendor that does not exist, we simply type NOF that represents not on file vendor. Not on file vendor now gives us the opportunity to create any type of a name for the check that we want to use. We can put a comment as usual. And when we go to the lines, if we have an invoice, we could create an invoice number. The system will ask if it's a new invoice. Notice also that it's going to ask for the general ledger distribution or the expense account that we will use. That is also uh, get to that screen right here over at this button. Either way, it's automatic. If I hit accept, it's going to open up the ability to use the general ledger account number for this expense account. Once that is done, Once that is done, the distribution balance is zero. We can also put it to multiple accounts. And at that time, if you want, we could merely print the check payment register and update. This conference will now be recorded. Thank you for attending. This is just a verification and a check. This will be discarded. Thank you.